This is day 47 in the Gaza-Israel war and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. The fighting on Israel's northern border with Syria and Lebanon continues and it appears as if Hezbollah was weakened by the constant Israeli attacks against missile launchers, weapons stockpiles and other terror locations throughout Lebanon. Hezbollah's biggest ally, the Islamic Republic of Iran, is attempting to send more and more weapons supply through Syria. The Israeli Air Force, together with the United States Air Force, are monitoring the Syrian skies and are locating more weapons stockpiles, weapons convoys, and recently an airfield that was used by Iran to transport new ammunitions that included long-range missiles to Hezbollah in Lebanon. The Israeli Air Force together with the United States using a special airplane bomber were able to destroy the entire airfield while neutralizing all the terrorists inside. In another incident in Syria, the United States Air Force was able to identify a convoy of trucks disguised as UN humanitarian trucks. The Israeli intelligence was able to identify and revealed that these trucks were not sent by the United Nations and the United States was able to destroy this convoy. Later it was revealed that these trucks were transporting long-range missiles into Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel, together with the United States, were able to destroy Iran's plans of flaming up the northern front against Israel. And during attacks that targeted Hezbollah leaders inside bunkers in Lebanon, the IDF was able to neutralize multiple Hezbollah leaders, causing Hezbollah to send four terror units to retaliate by attacking an IDF military base in Israel. The units were identified and the IDF sent in tanks and unmanned aerial vehicles to hunt them down as they were running back to their bases and underground positions inside Lebanon. The IDF was able to neutralize these cells and identify the location of the terror command positions of Hezbollah and destroy these locations as well. The IDF is taking the offensive against Hezbollah in Lebanon. The IDF is initiating, targeting and neutralizing Hezbollah positions before they carry out the attacks against Israel, thus far weakening the terror organization. On the southern front against Hamas in the Gaza Strip, IDF forces are conducting fierce operations against Hamas militants in the neighborhood of Jabalia. In this neighborhood, Hamas is operating from the area of the Indonesian hospital, just like they did within the Shifa Medical Center. Hamas is using civilian locations and hospitals in order to carry out its operations against Israeli soldiers. This is their method. IDF troops revealed a suspicious activity in a building next to the hospital. IDF troops that was monitoring the area identified a suspicious activity that was taking place in a building next to the Indonesian hospital. In this building, they saw a group of Hamas terrorists that were disguised as the Red Crescent humanitarian organization that is supposed to help wounded civilians. After monitoring them, they saw that Hamas was kidnapping civilians and using them as human shields in order to reach an underground weapon stockpile and deliver it to its terrorists throughout Jabalia area. The IDF was conducting a fierce battle that took 10 hours in an attempt to neutralize these terror elements using tanks and other special units. While the tanks approached the terrorists, Hamas's militants opened fire, thus allowing the Israeli troops to differentiate between them and the civilians. This fight took 10 hours, but at the end, 
the IDF was able to neutralize Hamas terrorists and release the Palestinian civilians that were taken as hostages to be used as human shields. The IDF took over that weapon stockpile and destroy Hamas militants in that area. We know how Hamas is operating. We know that it is using the civilian population in the Gaza Strip as human shields. We know that it is lying to the international community. A deal was struck between Israel and Hamas to release some 50 Israeli hostages in exchange for 150 Palestinian prisoners. Already, we hear that some of the Israeli hostages to, that were supposed to be released were found dead within Hamas captivity. I call on all of you to join us in prayer for the safe release of the Israeli hostages from within Gaza and for the IDF to continue its mission to destroy this evil Hamas from Israel before it spreads to the rest of the world. Please pray for the safety of the Israeli soldiers that risk their lives every day in this battle and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.